got to make my lunch. All right. So I have leftover chicken that we made chicken salsa in the quick cooker and I stored it in the three cup leak proof container. I have one piece of chicken that did not shred up. So I'm going to get my salad choppers and I'm going to shred that thing right up. All right. Salad choppers are the best to have for any type of meat like beef or pork or chicken that you want to shred up. And it also uh, does great with salad because it's called a salad chopper. So we're just going to shred up our chicken, all right, because it makes it a lot easier to eat when it's shredded. And it makes it look like a whole lot more than one little piece of chicken breast there. So we got our chicken done. Let me get that out. Okay, yeah, I'm using my finger, y'all, because I'm going to be eating it myself, all right? All right, all done. Put that in the sink. We've got our chicken ready to go. All right, if you want, you can add a little bit of salsa. We're going to get a burrito, all right? Uh, this is a 10-inch uh, um, burrito. We're going to get a, a tortilla shell. This is an Olay tortilla, and we're going to get our our chicken and put it on here. I'm not sure. I might have a lot. No, no, it should be a good amount. And all I'm doing is chicken now. If you want, you can put cheese in here. You can put beans in here. Whatever you have left over, you can make your own burrito, all right? Uh, let's put that in. I'm going to fire up my stove and I'm going to turn, turn it on. We have an eight inch fry pan. Yeah, that's my dog getting a drink. He had his breakfast and a snack. Let's see, we're going to put a little bit of oil just in the pan. Just oh, spray it a little bit more. Watch this. There we go. Spray it. There we go. Just a little bit on there. Release the air out of your kitchen spritzer. And we're going to come down while that's heating up and fold up our burrito. Now, to fold up the burrito, you're going to fold it once right here, once on the other side, and the other side, and then flip it. Okay, and i got to do it this way because it's facing me. All right, just tuck it together and roll it. There is your burrito. Pretty darn easy, okay? All my chicken's wrapped up, and I'm, I'm going to put it in the pan. The pan should be nice and hot. All right, let's lean you, let's pull you over here and get it in the pan. We're going to just um, caramelize it so it's nice and brown because it looks better. <laughs> tastes better too that way. All right. So let me say hello for the folks that just came in. Hello, uh, Rose over in, I forget where you are, Denmark. All right. And then we have Tony Bay's in the house. Yordis is in the house. JFJ. Hello. How are you doing? What did you have for lunch? All right. What are you having for dinner? Tonight, uh, today, I'm getting rid of the rest of the chicken. We made the chicken salsa in the quick cooker using, I think I had 10 ounces of chicken and one cup of salsa, and it's all gone. I did store some. It's all gone. We can put this in the sink, and we're finishing up leftovers, all right? My mom's having her leftovers from lunch yesterday, um, lunch dinner that we went out, and we're just going to let this... Just let it sit, Alexis. Let it sit. And just let it heat it up. I'm going to put it on medium-high heat, okay? Amsterdam. There you go. Amsterdam. Thanks, to Rose. How was, what were you cooking there? Follow uh, Rose. She is over in Amsterdam and does some uh, cooking scopes also. So she's uh, new to our foodie group here. All right. Uh, JFJ, how are you doing today? What did you make for lunch or what are you having for dinner? Tonight we're going to be uh, doing some corn on the cob. And I have my uh, corn here. I only got two pieces because I didn't want to, it was like five for two bucks. And we only got two pieces of corn here, okay? And while that's cooking up, let's just peel our corn so it'll be ready for tonight. Uh, you can, some, some stores up north, you can put them in a, like a bin, get all this, uh, the, the silk off. And the way you check for, for good corn is that it's not dry at the top up here, okay? And you want to get all that, um, uh, Silk, silk out of here. All right, just clean it up and then wash it. All right, just get it all up. Let me let's get that uh, there. Now I'm not sure about you, but we leave the usually leave this little end part on this part here so we can hold it. All right, so there's one down while we're doing this while we're getting our burrito ready. All right, and let's clean the other one. Let's see how how our burrito is doing. Let me get that scraper and oh, nicely caramelized. Oh yeah. Looking good. So while we do this one, that should be done by the time we get this one peeled. And we're going to have our burrito real easy. And you can do these burritos up in advance and actually freeze them. Just put them in parchment and then pull them out right on, right on the parchment, what it is. And you can have a really grab-and-go uh, lunch. All right. And I got my corn done. Boy, we made a mess here. <laughs> I can make a mess in my kitchen. No problem, y'all. 
And the only thing is I have to clean it up. All right, so you're just going to rinse this off, whether you're going to steam it in or put it in boiling water, use your quick cooker, put it in the microwave, put it on the grill. There's so many different ways of doing corn on the cob, okay? But that's going to be my mom and my, my, our dinner tonight is corn on the cob, y'all. All right, let's get that up, get it all over. All right, put that in this garbage. And let me get the mat up because we are all done. And uh-oh, it fell. It, what opened up? No big deal. We're just going to put it right back together again. Roll it over. Still perfect. Still perfect. We're still good. It actually opened up on me, y'all. Let's turn that off because we're all done with that. And uh, I can say goodbye because I got my, my burrito all done. Let's get, the, ooh, get that silk up off my my little space between the stove and the thing uh, cabinet there. All right, let me go back and look. Let's see. I had shrimp with mixed veggies cooked in the wok for lunch. We're going out for dinner tonight to our friends play and signing, singing, singing at the place where we're going. Wow. All right. And you're up in Maryland, right? Hey, Joey Giggles, how you doing? How's it going there? Yummy, yummy. I just got in. <laughs> yeah, you did. Uh, Japanese pork says uh, rose with uh, Japanese pork with pakasal kimchi uh, rice dish. Wow. Wow. Was that a spinach wrap from Aldi's? Uh, no, it's it's actually a spinach wrap, but it's, uh, let me see, it's this brand. It's Olay. I can only find it at Publix. It's the Olay blend because this one's a uh, Weight Watcher. It's extreme wellness. It's spinach and herbs, and it's only one point. Okay, uh, the other other ones are a lot more a lot more points. Let's get a plate and put this on. All right, now B and me. Look, it's nicely cooked. It's nicely toasted, y'all. This is so. This is gonna be so yummy in my tummy, y'all. I can't wait. All right, so this one here is a Pampered Chef pan. It is an eight inch fry pan. It's only like seventy bucks. Well worth your investment. It is th uh, four layers of titanium. Uh, the handles do come off for easy storage. Okay. The bottom does have aluminum on it. Best thing ever. I use this. I probably, I used to use this one the most, but then I'm graduated to a 10 inch one because these ones, I make my breakfast, the burritos. I make my egg in here, um, put the salt, pepper, put my um, tortilla on it. And now I've learned how to flip the whole tortilla with the egg on it, y'all. It, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> I've been learning how to flip a tortilla egg. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I'm going to go back down. Hey, Roos. Hello, Russell Horn. How are you doing? Extreme wraps are good too, but too hard to find here. Yeah, they are pretty hard to find. This looks good. This is great. I'm going to, I'll cut it in half for y'all. All right. Let me get a, um, if I have the tomato knife, I like to cut it with the tomato knife. All right. Uh, it, cause it's serrated. Oops. I put you, I put my finger over the camera lens. All right. So when you cut a burrito, if it's a really big one, you can cut it. Cause normally I just eat it like this and go grab and go and eat the whole thing, but you can cut it in half just on a diagonal. All right. Some of it's coming out there because the Lexus isn't cutting very well. All right, here we go. Put our chicken back in. Put Go back in, chicken. And you're going to see that the uh, chicken burrito is super good. And this is going to be my lunch, all right? There's no cheese because I, I don't want to eat the cheese. I don't want to take the points on the cheese, okay? Hello, Sheila, again. How are you doing? This is awesome. Is it, yeah, it's a burrito. And we, we did the chicken earlier to, earlier this week. We did the chicken salsa in the quick cooker. And now I'm finishing up the chicken, making it into a burrito. You're just using the same ingredients, just wrapping it differently. Okay. So I want to thank everybody for coming in. This is a really short broadcast just to get rid of my chicken and uh, show you how to do a burrito. And mine did open up, but you see it's closed up again. All right. So thanks for coming in and I'll see you all next time on your broadcast. All right. Bye, everybody.